the farm rescue staff, we have this uh, humorous calibration and auto steer setup guide. Go to the front page and we need to get to the main menu. The right bottom right hand corner is the main menu. Then we need to go ahead and select air cart. Once we're in air cart, we go to setup. We select the tank that you want to calibrate. In this case, we're doing soybeans with no fertilizer, so it's rear. And we select down here from the product, soybeans. And then we need to have the rate. This particular farmer wants 61 pounds an acre. So we enter in 61 on the keypad. Now we have 61 down here. This VR step on this machine in particular uh, makes no difference. This is the variable rate step. This transmission is a manual transmission. Uh, it does not have a variable rate set up. Go ahead and select variable rate. The variable rates, this is the front tank, it's highlighted. This is the middle bin, it's highlighted. This is the rear bin. Since we're wanting to put down 61 an acre and we're only taking out of the rear bin, we'll select this keypad, enter 61, and accept. If you were putting on fertilizer, you'd want to enter the amount that you're going to be putting on in the front or the middle, but in this case, we're only using the rear bin. This is the meter cartridge. Meter cartridge is very, very important. You have to get the right cartridge in or your rates will be way off. To tell what color you have is to look on the outside end of the cartridge. It'll either be yellow, black, green, or blue. Yellow is the smallest and blue is the largest. Most common for yellow would be canola, wheat and barley would be black, and the green would be for soybeans. So we have the green in right now for soybeans, so we select green. All right, once we have selected the proper meter cartridge, go ahead and hit the next arrow. This number here, custom and current, this should be close to the standard. If it's way off or it's zero, go ahead and enter what this standard number is. So select it and enter it on the keypad for the standard uh, for that particular roller. Go ahead and hit the arrow of the next key. Want to take a look at this transmission number. This number is a reference. When you do the calibration test, it should be somewhere right around 53 for this particular uh, calibration. So just to, re, uh, just to double check, we're on the rear tank. We have soybeans for the product. The rate is 61.0 pounds per acre. The VR step on this particular model does not matter. We have the correct cartridge in the meter, which is green, and we're taking a look at the transmission setting. Now we can move to calibrate. We're only gonna be calibrating the rear tank because we are not putting fertilizer or any other product down, so we select the rear tank, and you'll notice this is highlighted. This is highlighted for the front, this is highlighted for the middle on this particular cart with a three compartment cart, and then this here is the rear. It's highlighted, the others are all darkened. So we select the rear. Now we select the arrow key for next. This is very important. We get to install the calibration bag, set the transmission to 50, and turn the crank 12 revolutions. Empty and reinstall the calibration bag. Now that we've set up in the computer up front, it's told us to turn the crank, the meter cartridge 12 revolutions, and then uh, empty the bag. The lids unscrew, bag is all folded up. Verify that the bag is indeed empty. There's no material inside the bag. There's little pulls in the end. And the lid, or the bottom door, you push in on the clip and up on the top. Push down and up and it pops down. Swing the arms out of the way, and you drop down the door on the bottom. Set that to the side. Take the bag. With the help of the built-in pulls inside the bag, hook it tight onto the lips. You want to make sure it's, it's deep up onto the lips. And the bag here, you just pull on the strap if it's on the corner, 
with the bag all the way as high as one can get it. Just tug on it a little bit, make sure it's taut, make sure that there's nothing you know, hanging inside that it covers the openings. So now that the computer has told us to turn the crank 12 times, we must first verify that the transmission setting is turned up to 50. It has to be at 50, otherwise the calibration process will not turn out correctly. Turn it up, get it right on 50. And now we can proceed to turn the crank 12 times. You can take the handle, or if it's equipped, over here is a button, a little toggle switch, and this toggle switch will run a hydraulic orbital motor and turn the crank. Verify that the meter cartridge that is selected with the bag is turning and make sure the handle turns 12 revolutions. It doesn't hurt if a person is to do more than 12, just a minimum of 12. This here is the meter cartridge and this is the gear to verify that it's turning on the inside. So you want to make sure that the one with the bag, the one that you're calibrating, is the one that is indeed turning and not another one. Now that you're done making at least 12 revolutions, unclip the bag. You can just let it drop to the ground. You take the bag and empty it in the top of the bin. Once the bag has been emptied in top, reinstall the empty bag. And now we're ready for the next step, which is up in the cab. Just to confirm, we have installed the calibration bag. We set the transmission to 50. We just turned the crank 12 revolutions. We emptied and reinstalled the bag. Now we are ready to press continue to start the actual calibration. Now, this here, we need to turn the crank or drive until the meter stops turning. So we'll go back to the cart and turn the crank. Now that the computer's told us we're ready to actually do the calibration, we're going to start with verifying that the transmission setting is indeed at 50. The bag is installed. And now we can turn the crank. Get in a position where you can double check that the meter cartridge is operating and pull down on the toggle switch and hold. This can take anything from a few revolutions to several. Now the meter cartridge has stopped turning, but your motor is still turning. Now you may stop. Let go of the button and it automatically returns, the switch returns to the off position. Watch your head and your body on this crank. Pull down on the strap and very carefully let it fall to the ground. Be careful not to spill any beans or product as this will change the amount and give you a false or inaccurate reading. Again, watch your head. It's a favorite pastime to slam it against that poor crank. Take the scale, push the on off button. Verify on the right hand corner here that it says pounds. If it has a, uh, ounces or uh, kilograms, just continue to hit the mode button until LBS for pound shows up. Verify that it's at 0.00. .00. If not, hit the zero key, and that will automatically return the scale to zero. Hang the scale itself on this little hook. Take the bag, and sometimes this bag is too heavy. It's better to have help for two people. Each grab a side and lift it up. Put the eyelets right through the hook and let it hang. We notice here that it's reading 43.45 or 43.50. It's going to vary a little bit just because of the wind. We need to remember to take a pound off for the bag. This bag weighs exactly one pound. So we're going to go with 43.50.
just to average it out, 4350, because of this wind, it's never gonna come to a complete stabilization. So you just take an average of what was really high and what was really low. Now it's 4350, but we need to take that pound off for the bag. So that would give us a number of 4250 is what we enter into the computer. It's a good idea to write it down so you don't forget it. 4250. And again, notice that the scale actually reads 43 because we're taking a pound off for the bag. And with some assistance, go ahead and pick the bag up, unhook it, and now you need to carry it up to the top and dump it back in the bin. Turn the scale off and take it back to the tractor. All right, we've got our weight, which was 4250. And here this Purvis handy guide. We want to enter it in. So go ahead and select this box here. It'll generate a keypad and enter in 42.50. Now, this is what we're entering in as an example you have to enter in the weight minus the bag that you weighed up in your particular situation. Hit accept. Now we have 42.50 and the computer kept track. The meter cartridge turned 13.1 times. Now this is gonna give us our MDV value, which turns, tells us how much product is coming out per revolution. Now we've entered product weight and now we can press continue. Calibration is complete. This is the transmission number, 29. We will enter that on the transmission. And this is the MDV number, which is amount of product that's metered in pounds per revolution. So we are now complete with the calibration. Just remember, this 29 is only for our example. Uh, the weight you enter will create your own transmission setting. Now that the calibration is completed on the computer side, we need to physically change the transmission to read 29. So turn it counterclockwise down to 29. Each mark is two. So for 29, we need to split between 28 and 30. Right in there, 29. So now, after we're done with this, the actual calibration process is completed. Transmission is set. Now we should be putting down the appropriate pounds per acre that the farmer requested. Now we want to make sure we put on the bottom lid. Take notice the airflow stickers. It's very important that the arrow points in the direction that the air is being flown. In this particular pull behind or tow behind cart, the fan is in the back and the air is flowing towards the toolbar from the cart. So the airflow will be to the forward. If you have a tow between piece of equipment where you have a tractor, the cart, and then the toolbar, this will have to be going in the other direction because the fan will be in the front of the cart. But in our example, the fan is in the rear. This is a tow behind cart. So you have the tractor, the toolbar, and the cart. So the arrow will go to the front, whichever way the air flows. Playfully place it on top of the bolts, push it until it's snug. Make sure this hose is in its groove here and push it until it becomes snug. Go ahead and undo your buckles, slide them down. Make sure they're firmly in the groove and latch them until it clicks. And verify that they are indeed latched. After we verify that the bottom door has been installed correctly, we just want to double check that the meter cartridge is inside its holder. This cam is down and it's locked in tight. We want to make sure the doors for cleaning out are down and snug. And then in here, you'll notice the handle position meter cutoff. If these arms on this particular cart are all the way up in this position here, When the handle is in that position, your meter will not be receiving any seed. Once you're done with the calibration bag and it's been emptied on the top, go ahead and grab the two bars, pull them together, loop the bottom around, press the air out, and then just roll it up. 
place the bag back inside the holding container. Press the edges down so it doesn't get caught in the threads. Take the lid and screw it on. This concludes calibration. We can now go back to the home page. You want to just verify that the clutch is indeed engaged. If all of these are clear with a little symbol of the meter cartridge, if they're clear, they are not going to be engaged and you will not be putting down any product. If you tap on them, they'll turn green. When they're green, they're going to be applying product. Once the machine is in the ground and you're pulling ahead, they'll be applying product. You want to make sure that the bins that have product in them have this green clutch symbol. So I'll just unselect this one because we're only putting down beans in the rear tank.